Let's discuss about atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is the most common heart rhythm disorder seen by doctors. In atrial fibrillation, electrical signals no longer start in the sinus node, but rather fire rapidly and haphazardly throughout the heart's upper chambers called the atria. These disorganized electrical impulses cause the atria to contract quickly and irregularly resulting in a rapid curing of the upper chambers called the atria which is medically known as the atrial fibrillation. If the heart's atria are not contracting properly, blood can pool in the heart's upper chambers. Such pooled blood can lead to the formation of blood clots within the atria which in turn can cause strokes if the clots are carried into the bloodstream and lodge in the arteries of the brain. Atrial fibrillation, in brief air, is a major risk factor for stroke, increasing the stroke risk by five to six fold. Probably the most recognizable sim symptom or sign of atrial fibrillation is the heart palpitations, where your heart beats so fast that you think it is racing and you can feel it thumping or flopping or flipping in your chest. It may be accompanied by chest pain, lightheadedness or dizziness, sometimes weakness or even shortness of breath. The treatment of atrial fibrillation. Management of atrial fibrillation is designed to achieve several objectives. One, prevent blood clots from forming. Two, controlling the heart rate, concentrating on how many times per minute the heart beats. It is called the rate control. Three, restoring the heart to a normal rhythm. This is called the rhythm control. This helps the heart's chambers work together more efficiently, which can also improve the rate control. The two most common drugs used to control the blood clot formation and thus reduce the risk of stroke are warfarin and aspirin. Warfarin is more effective than aspirin for preventing stroke in this situation. However, warfarin has more side effects such as potential bleeding problems than aspirin. Because warfarin is a powerful blood thinner, it requires intense monitoring. Such monitoring involves regular blood tests to measure the INR, International Normalized Ratio. For patients with atrial fibrillation, the goal of INR is usually between 2 and 3. When medications do not work, there are other alternatives. Electrical cardioversion is one such option. It uses a jolt of electricity, convey to your heart either to paddles or wired patches attached to your chest. Defibrillation is done under light anesthesia in the hospital and the patients can go home the same day. Another option is catheter ablation when the defibrillation fails which targets and destroys small areas of cells in the heart thought to be the source of electrical malfunction. In this technique a catheter is threaded into your heart and radio frequency energy in the form of radio waves is emitted to selectively cauterize the errant heart cells and thus stop the electrical uh, fibrillation.